So hi everyone, my name is Violet Matthews and today I will be presenting an analysis of political art, The Third Persistent Burns in Minneapolis by Kambui Olajimi. Let's get started. Here's some table of context just showing us what we're going to be going over today and yeah. So this art piece was made during the year of 2020, a historical and impactful time period for the history of the world. This was the height of the pandemic, COVID-19 and BLM, Black Lives Matter movements across not only North America, but the entire world. During this frightful time, quarantine was in place and streets were emptied of human life. In May 2020, George Floyd and Breonna Taylor had passed away after being yet again victims of police brutality. After these impactful deaths, BLM movements and protests had begun to uprise and the defacing of buildings as a message began to occur. So let's talk, talk a little bit about the artists. Kambui Olujimi is a young black male raised in Bedford Stuyvesant, Brooklyn and received his master's in fine arts from the Columbia University in New York City. His artwork consists of expressive and non-linear art styles. Olujimi minds the collective psyche as a source of social and political commentary and brings them out of the world of the implicit. From the website, Kambui Olujimi himself. Through the work he tends to create, he uses art forms such as photography, sculpture, writing, and performance. He had his arts premiered nationally from the Sundance Film Festival to Los Angeles and Museum of Contemporary Art. He has received grants, commissions, and media coverage on his artworks, such as The New Yorker, CNN, and New York Times, and is recognized throughout his region. So let's focus on his piece now. Here we can see a picture. So in Olajimi's piece, we can see his purpose is to inform as he brings awareness as well as knowledge to the importance of the BLM movement and their purpose towards police brutality and reality of the black the issues black people face. His purpose may also to be to inform of the time this was happening and the reality of how serious these movements were in proving their point while portraying the experience of what persons must go through and the differences in their lives. So after analyzing these, this purpose and these purposes, I come to the conclusion that I do believe that Olajimi's piece was a very effective one in portraying its purpose and argument. This is because of the use of imagery, imagery within the piece and description. First, it shows the importance of the BLM movement's purpose by a building labeled Minneapolis Police, as we saw in the previous photo, hinting to the BLM protest that happened on May 28, 2020, the burning and setting to fire of the police station in hopes of the recognition of their message. We see a poster being held justice for George, hinting to George Floyd's passing and could be an indicator to the period these events happened, as well as the cause of this outrage of the movement. I was told incessantly, or open quote, I was told incessantly, as if I didn't hear the first 40 times, how to move in the presence of police, end quote. This is from Olajimi's description and in 2020. It's a, it's a clear indication to why the police station is incorporated into this piece, showing us irony as they burn it is likewise to the police brutality and prejudice that burned from the people coming from it. From a young age, he had been taught how to function around police, thus why it had such a significance of them taking it back further, proving his purpose of the differences in life black people face compared to others because of the discrimination we see today. So now we're going to move on to talking about more in depth, the piece. So within this art piece, we can see many themes and aspects come into play in revealing Olajimi's purpose. This painting is based on real life history and although it is more recent, it still has much of an impact and significance today and in our future. This brings me to the reasoning that this is indeed a good and valuable piece of art and through the use of the four, eight, four of the eight aesthetic principles, it will be proven within this presentation. So first we start off with the first principle. The piece, The Third Persistent Burns in Minneapolis by Kambui Olajimi is valuable according to the first principle that states, open quote, objects are aesthetically valuable if they are meaning and teaching, meaningful and teach us truth. 
thoughts, unquote. In this painting, we can see how the burning of the building by the shadow figures represents the BLM protesters and the burning of the Minneapolis police station in 2020, showing viewers the outrage and perhaps despise in the actions of police brutality that affect and harm Black people. It's meaningful because it dates to centuries of Black people dealing with racism and the reality of it still happening in the 21st century and helps viewers even realize that. So we're gonna be moving on to the next principle. So this piece is also valuable according to the third principle. Objects are aesthetically valuable if they have the capacity to help bring about social or, pol or political change. Olajipi's quote in the description of the painting, there's no amount of fire can clean this place to the bone. Open quote. There's no amount of fire can clean this place to the bone. Even the dirt would need to be turned to ash, end quote. In this description, not only does he use fire to recreate a depiction of the burning police station in 2020, but compares the amount of burning or destruction in the painting it would take for persons to do for there to be a general understanding and peace to seize racial discrimination. This reveals to viewers how important it is to demolishing the acts of racism and discrimination within people is a historical process, and it's not an easy one, but it needs to be recognized. Now we move on to the fourth principle. So the fourth principle, objects are aesthetically valuable if they have the capacity to produce pleasure in those who experience or appreciate. This also shows the value of the third persistent burns in Minneapolis. The painting depicts the time in 2020 where the protesters brought about their voice and message in the way of burning a building. Taking a stance in this movement meant participation and admiration of the cause. This painting therefore brings this painting therefore can bring pleasure to anyone who has participated in actions related to the movement, whether in peaceful protests, graffiti art, art pieces, speeches, anything of the sort. Their experience is heard by someone and can give them pleasure to know that the message is being spread. Likewise, through this art for a reason through art and through their experiences. Next, we move on to the fifth principle. So this is my favorite one. <laughs> Olajimi's painting is additionally valuable according to the fifth principle. Objects are aesthetically valuable if they have the capacity to produce certain emotions we value, at least when the emotion is brought about by art rather than life. So Olajimi's paintings can be recognized as a bit chaotic and overwhelming. And we can see this in first feelings, first emotions. Um, a feeling that often gets suppressed by society is the urge for revenge and payback, recognized as wrongs. Although Olajimi's painting doesn't depict every aspect from those protests, you can examine he shows the key shift in tension from the peaceful protests after the police took harm towards the peaceful protesters to a more aggressive approach. This painting can, rep can represent those feelings and wants of revenge or karma of police brutality and discrimination amongst Black people. This ultimately makes this art valuable as a person can reside within with those feelings in this painting and feel recognized as a person and as a human. All right, so that are, those are the four of eight principles that I will be using to analyze the third persistent burns in Minneapolis by Kembui Olajimi. So now we come to the conclusion. So in conclusion, Kambui Olajimi's The Third Persistent Burns in Minneapolis is a great and very valuable art piece. The incorporation of the eight aesthetic principles and racial aspects we see come into play makes it all the more effective of a painting. Using reasoning, representation, inclusivity, and awareness, Olajimi's piece is a knowledgeable and impactful one. So thank you for coming to my presentation, watching, engaging, and learning some knowledge. Have a nice rest of the day. Stop sharing.